Have you ever wondered just how flammable are 3D prints? Well, today we're going to find out. Let's burn some benchies. Ah, welcome back to Maker's Muse, guys. So a bit of a backstory. I build combat robots as a bit of a hobby. <laughs> and I've been using 3D printing for all sorts of combat robot parts over the years, especially speed controller housings. Now, being combat robots, occasionally these speed controllers will catch fire. And I thought to myself, are my 3D printed enclosures actually fireproof or will they actually combust? Now, this has actually been something I've been researching quite a bit and there doesn't really seem to be much uh, information on the flammability of 3D printing materials on the internet, so I thought, why not do what I do best and actually put it to the test? So I put the idea up on Patreon and I got loads of your guys' feedback on what, you, what materials you'd like to see tested and how you'd like to see it tested. Now, I can't do the auto ignition test right now, but the plan is to use a direct flame to see if any material can actually maintain a flame when the heat is removed. And then once I get a sort of control size of materials I know will combust with direct flame contact, I'll then move them to see if they will auto combust with just heat contact. So for this first video, I've chosen six materials, starting with this. So this is Hobby King brand ABS. It's extremely cheap, seven to eight dollars a kilo. I got it on special and it prints pretty well. I printed this on my CraftBot Plus. Then I have some premium ABS. So this is from Tier Time printed on the Up Mini. So this is their own brand of ABS and I believe it does have a modifier to make it print at a higher temperature. And whether or not this affects the flammability of it, I'm not too sure. Then we've got good old fashioned PLA. So this is Hobby King, again, brand PLA, super cheap stuff. No modifiers as far as I understand. It's quite brittle when it's been left for a while, but it prints pretty well. And again, this was done on the CraftBot Plus. Then again, on the premium side of PLA, we have Colorfab. So Colorfab is a PLA PHA mix, making it much tougher than regular PLA. Now, whether this toughness also affects the flammability of the plastic, I'm not too sure, but I guess we're going to find out. And as I said, I got lots of great requests from you guys on Patreon. So the two I've chosen that you suggested were PETG. This is Maker Geeks PETG. And I have no idea what's going to happen with this one. And finally, we have this wood filled PLA. This is filamentive wood filled PLA. Now you notice it's not a full bench here. That's because I thought it'd be a great idea to run wood filled PLA through my Wanhao with the Flexion extruder. Don't do that. The Flexion is a great extruder, but it does not like printing wood filled or particle filled plastics. And I jammed it up pretty savagely. So I had to unclog it. It hasn't really been the same since. I probably need to do a full overhaul. But yeah, this is the bench I got off that. So I'm going to also test this to see if it catches fire. And of course, because I'm going to set things on fire, I need to outline my safety precautions. So I have a vent, which I'm going to put behind the print with a very small airflow, but significant enough to just pull away any fumes. I'm doing this outside. I will have safety glasses on and I have a fire extinguisher, a fire blanket and a hose nearby in case anything happens. But really, I'm not expecting that anything too bad. I did used to burn army soldiers when I was a kid. So again, I'm taking precautions, but full disclaimer, don't do this at home. Don't try it at home. Some plastics can release possibly carcinogenic and poisonous fumes. So yeah, don't do what I'm doing, but let's see what happens. Uh, so this is the Hobby King ABS and being a petroleum plastic, I believe it will catch fire. So I'm going to go for the chimney and see if we can hold a flame. And there you go. So that's how ABS burns. It's a really sort of acrid black smoke. Um, it is a little bit windy out here, but um, that's definitely holding a flame, no issues at all. And that's some pretty gross smoke. So there's your test. Uh, ABS, or at least Hobby King ABS with no modifiers, burns. All right, so now let's try tier times uh, ABS. So this is a lot more expensive than the Hobby King stuff and it prints at a higher temperature about 260 degrees Celsius. So whether or not this one actually burns, I'm not sure. Let's find out. Yep. And there you go. So that caught just as easily as the, the Hobby King ABS and yeah, it's burning just as easily as well. So both the tier time and Hobby King ABS definitely both catch and sustain a flame, actually quite a vigorous flame. So that's a bit worrying because I used to use this ABS for my speed controllers, 
and that means that if the speed controllers went up in flames, that would probably uh, add to that. All right, so let's put that one aside. And next we have PLA. So this is standard PLA, uh, Hobby King brand. So just very cheap, very cheap stuff. And um, the thing about PLA, it's uh, polylactic acid, or it's actually based off starch, other, other um, sort of uh, corn or sugar beet. So it's a starch-based plastic. It's actually a bioplastic, and it is completely renewable, which is cool. But I have been, I have heard that PLA, or at least unmodified PLA, can burn like a candle. So whether or not that's true, I'm not sure. Let's find out. It definitely has a lower melting point than ABS. Let's see. Well, that's interesting. So there was no black smoke um, at all. It is definitely burning, or well, it's melting. Oh, do we have a, nope. Okay. I'll give it one last shot. So it's definitely melting pretty hard, but it is not sustaining a flame. It's, oh, it might have a flame. Nah, okay. Well, that's interesting. So there wasn't any wind then, and there was very little fumes. It smells a little bit like candy corn, but uh, nothing acrid like the ABS. And that did not have any ability to hold a flame. It just went out very quickly. <laughs> Looks a bit like a candle. So that's interesting because I really thought they would actually catch, especially from what I've been told about PLA catching like a candle. So, all right, let's put it aside. But what about this? So this is the color fab PLA which has PHA in it as well so it's a stronger PLA blend and this may or may not be uh, it might be a, it's a tougher plastic but it may or may not be more flammable let's find out so let's hit this one nothing although it is going a more awful sort of color than the Hobby King PLA did. It ain't catching. I mean, it's trying. It really is trying to catch. You can see a bit of a yellow flame there. Uh, oh. I think that's, that's burning now. That is definitely burning. <laughs> it's dissolving away. That's interesting. So the flame's almost invisible, and that's burning. So that's really interesting. So the PHA in the color fab must, I don't know, must make it more flammable than regular PLA. That's, that's holding a flame better than ABS did. It's really biting through the model, and that's some winds come through and blown it out. That's interesting. I did not expect that result at all. So that's definitely out now. It's sort of made this sludge. <laughs> Very interesting. All right, put that one aside. And as per you, your guys' request on Patreon, we have this Maker Geeks PETG. So we're gonna see how this one goes. All right, let's get the old blowtorch in. So bright orange flame, but it appears to be self-extinguishing. Oh, it is trying. It is trying to catch. No, it is, it's... No, it definitely, um, definitely is struggling to hold a flame there, which is interesting. Uh, <laughs> I actually pinned this one as actually catching. I thought this one would definitely hold a flame, but it definitely isn't. No, cool, all right. So PETG does not hold a flame, or at least Maker Geeks one doesn't, which is cool, all right. And as the final one of the batch, we have the Woodfield PLA from Filamentive. So again, this didn't finish on my Wanhao i3 because the Flexion extruder does not like wood PLAs, but it's still good enough for us to get a reasonable test of how a print might 
uh, catch. So let's give this one a shot. Nothing. You can see those wood wood particles definitely trying to burn. Oh, <laughs> okay. Well, there you have it. So a little bit more heat and that is just going up. <laughs> That's probably the most rigorous flame out of all the tests so far. It's sort of bubbling up and the wood particles must, must just be catching. And that's actually quite beautiful to watch. It's definitely having no issues, no issues burning there. There we go. All right, guys. Well, that was super interesting. I honestly did not expect those results. So to recap, the ABS, both ABS brands, so the Hobby King and the Tier Time brands, both burnt. But I did, I did expect that they are petroleum-based plastics, and I have. As I said, definitely burnt toy soldiers in the past. So yes, they will catch and the flame is nasty, it's acrid. And um, yeah, I would not use those plastics unless they've been modified with a flame retardant additive, which do exist. And I'm trying to get hold of some for a future video, but unless you're doing that, um, yeah, don't use them in an area where they could catch fire, even though they do have a higher temperature resistance than PLA, but I did not pick the two PLAs have different, differing results. So with a Hobby King PLA, that is just straight PLA, no additives, it did not maintain a flame and it did not seem to have much of a smell at all. It was just, smelled like as you extrude it. But the ColorFab PLA just kept burning. So, you know, going back to that PLA burns like a candle, I do recall it was Barnacle's uh, Jerry over at, uh, at Nerdgasm who said that on one of Joel's and Jerry's like collab live streams quite a while ago. And it makes sense because I think he was using ColorFab on his Ultimaker. So if that's the case, I can definitely see what he's saying when it burns like a candle. It kept that flame nice and consistent, and if there wasn't much breeze around, it would just probably keep going, which was really interesting because it is a stronger PLA than just straight PLA. It's got the PHA in it to make it tougher, but if you're looking for something that won't burn, you might be better off with bog standard PLA. Now the PETG, I actually thought would catch, but at least in my experiences, it didn't, although maybe with more heat and more flame, it would. And then the wood PLA, I wasn't quite sure to expect with that, but once the flame did take hold, it just kept burning and burning and burning. So again, do not use wood PLA if you're looking for a print that isn't, at, isn't going to catch fire if it's at risk of doing so. So again, guys, you, you gave me awesome suggestions on Patreon, and in the comments below of this video, let me know what you'd like to see next tested. So I'm going to perfect my setup here with a sort of an enclosure to make it keep the breezes out to remove any chance of maybe a, a, a sort of a breeze affecting my results and also make it a bit safer for some other more exotic materials that I want to test in the future like polycarbonate which I definitely did not want to burn in this setup because I know for a fact it's pretty toxic so I want a proper filtration setup for that but yeah let me know in the comments guys what sort of plastics you'd like to see tested next and I'll get around to it. If this is your first time on Makers Muse, I'd really appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button. We do all kinds of 3D printing tips, tricks, reviews, and tests like this crazy one to see what's going on in the 3D printing world to better help you in your journey of creation. Thanks for watching, guys. My name's Angus. I look forward to seeing you again very shortly here on Makers Muse. Catch you later. Bye. He's placed satellites into orbit.